it's Saturday the 22nd of July um, I was here last week this wasn't here last week so I don't know what's been going on here um, back over the bridge we walked last week I left off at the end of this bridge Looking over the other side of the bridge, it seems like the bank side, it looks like it's been collapsing or something because they've been putting stones in there and bales of straw around there. Um, nothing there at the minute, like nobody working or anything, but there's been a big truck or something in there, dig or something. So anyway, I did uh, end the walk at the end of here where you can either go straight through or turn right. I'm going to turn right and walk along the river and see how far it takes us. So I may go through that way at some point. Another day. Or today, I don't know. See how far this takes you. So I've just turned right and... Uh, it will come across anything interesting along here. This is a canny little spot, just a couple of hundred yards along from the bridge. River looks nice there. Yeah. Just bumped into a guy with a dog heading back to where I come from so because I've never been here before I said to him how far does this go he says it brings you out to Black Hole Milligans I've just been there he says took me about 20 minutes he says nice little coffee there now if you fancy a cup of coffee or something when you get there so uh, interesting anyway obviously I know where Black Hole Mill is but uh, I'd never walked along here to it before because I know the river goes through Blackhall Mill but uh, as I say I didn't think uh, it maybe would have went that far another bit of the river it's not looking very clear here but um, still fish all the way along here like unbelievable it's funny, this crop, I mean, I'm in the same field, massive, massive field. This crop is higher than me at the bridge, and yet here, I don't know if it's because of shelter from the trees or what like, but it's only half the size. We're out there in the middle, it's like very high. Well, we're out of that uh, field in the next one. Well, walking along the side of it. These look like um, cauliflowers. Massive big field of cauliflowers. Wind's getting up a bit. Oh, the spoils are mighty That's Still on the side of the river, just down there. Um, so, I'm, to to I'm in another field. This is turnip, as you can see. Turnips along here. Never seen farmers growing vegetables for donkeys, actually. Or a big field, big field full of turnips, and I think that guy that I asked about along here, he's on his way back behind us. He must just have a plant route, and obviously he's walked it a few times. So, uh, hi turnips, very good. I'm back to the cornfield again, but the public footpath. This is a public footpath going. Up there across that field. 
So uh, seems to come out of that form over there, which is one of my customers as it happens. This is uh, the third gate on this walk. Oh, you've got to get through. I'll just let that uh, guy past. Because uh, I'm not in any hurry, obviously. I'm just uh, making bits of video clips. So, a uh, little bridge here. Can't be that far off Black Hole Mill now, actually. I don't think, anyway. Might find out when we get out in the open a bit here. That's it then. Made it to Black Hole Mill. And that house on the end, just where that guy is now, that's one of my customers. Um, I called that a repair a TV aerial a few years ago. Well, it's not a bad walk, really. I just turned around, head straight back. I'm not bad about cups of coffee in the cafe, I know. Maybe another day. A um, little bit of a stream coming down here. Funny colour as well. Looks like a rusty colour. So anyway, it's just it's it's a couple of mile walk here, so a couple of mile back. That'll do for today. Well, for this morning anyway. I'll. Uh, probably pop out somewhere this afternoon if the weather doesn't change because at the moment it's actually quite ideal really but uh, good little walk this I suppose quite handy if you have a dog uh, I mean I haven't got time for a dog but uh, it would be nice walking along with a dog maybe I should uh, when I'm on local walks try and Get in touch with somebody who has a dog who cannot quite uh, take it for exercise. I could could maybe do that for them, you know. Food for thought, anyway. I made a mistake when I was going that way. I said I thought this was cauliflower or something. This is actually a turnip field as well. And I've just spotted some turnips there. I think on my journey then, journey back, I passed uh, three going and uh, just passed two fishermen who I seen on the river when I was walking along on my way there. Uh, two fishermen, a jogger, and a couple is actually behind us. They're not in sight yet, but because uh, I I just came around that bend there, but uh, but they're around there somewhere. I just stopped because I seen a fish. So uh, yeah, it's kind of quiet path. Got a bit windy there for a while, um, but it doesn't seem so bad right now. Of course, it's probably because I'm round the bend from the wind. We'll see what's right when I get a bit further up again. But it's warm, that's for sure. Better than what it has been. Well, yesterday was terrible. I could only manage just to get out for a drive. Well, I'm back on the track, out of the fields, across the bridge. So, I'm just heading back now. The wind did get up, like, but it was uh, okay, best part of the way. But, uh, well, enjoyable walk, new walk, so uh, I enjoyed it. It's always good to see something different. And I found one or two other little paths which I could probably venture up at some point. We've had a lot of rain, I think, over the night time. A lot of puddles here. 
place for soaking really. But anyway, that'll do for this walk. Um, get back, have a cup of tea and a little break and then uh, sort this video out and then see what uh, the rest of the day brings. It's almost time for us to start uh, thinking about what I'm going to take down to Wales with us. Make a list, I suppose. Don't want to forget anything. Right, anyway. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. Stay safe.